Okay, so I'm out in one of my favorite spots because I want to try out the APES, the Advanced Pilot Assistance Module system with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. In order to do that, I also want to record the terrain where I'm filming as well as screen record so we can see when the APES or the obstacle avoidance system is kicking in. So I'm doing screen record now. So I also want to see how long it takes to pick up the satellites in the air where I am. There's a lot of tree coverage here. Shouldn't be a particular problem. I tried it a little while ago and I did get coverage pretty easy. But let's see, so we got five. Battery isn't completely full because I was flying last night, um, didn't have time to charge really, and this morning had a window of opportunity to pop out quickly. So I thought I might as well do that whilst I can. So the InstaGo 2 is recording, hopefully you can see this area. There's overhanging trees, branches. So at the moment I've got six satellites. It's taking a while. GPS signal weak, obviously I can't get a home point. Also, for this particular test, I probably should say um, what happens if I lose control, because obviously I don't want to go up. Um, where do I do this? So first of all, obstacle avoidance is on bypass. Because that's what I need for the APES. But then, in terms of control, stick mode advanced. That's all good. Safety. I'm not changing the maximal flight altitude. Um, We return to home settings. Karma. Transmission about. It must be in the safety settings. Um, we haven't got the home point yet. Maybe this only pops up once it has got the home point. So we've got 10 satellites, 9. It's actually pretty weak here. Um, under nothing else than trees, and the trees aren't particularly high. It's been, you can see from the screen recording, 2 minute 32. I've got 11 satellites now. Okay, that's a bit... I don't want to say boring, but a bit... Oh, here we go, so we've got 11. Still, I keep a eyes because now we've got ten, nine, keeps dropping. Still trying to find advanced safety settings. Here we go. So, return to home. I wanted to hover for now. I need to change that back. Let's see how many satellites we've got. 9, 10 at the moment. Okay, let's give this a try and see how this performs. Signal is weak. Let's get her up. So you can see there's trees already. I'm going slowly and I'm actually going into cinema mode as well. Oh, and I want to film, of course. Oops, nope. I want video. Because it does actually look quite nice here. And I filmed this before with um, the Insta. Oh, and also for the flight settings. It wants to go up, but it knows there is trees in the way. So it's locked now in the air. It doesn't go anywhere, actually. <laughs> I'll probably have to bring it down a bit. 
Is it going forward? No, it's kind of stuck. It's really sitting here. You can probably see that. Oh, it does go a little bit. So it's obviously picking up on these. Can I go back? I can go back. But at this point, it isn't going anywhere. Is it going forward? Yeah, you know what? I'm bringing it back. Won't even come back now. So this is an area where I thought we might get stuck, and we kind of did. So what I do, I bring it back down. Okay, that was the first test of the APAS, and it showed kind of got stuck. I mean, this area isn't particularly wide. You can see probably two meters here, two meters fifty here, maybe a little bit more. Two meters here. Of course what I want is I don't want it to crash. I don't want it to go into any of these tricky things hanging here because that would be annoying. I mean it's an expensive tool. And you can see here all this area has got stinging nettles as well. So I wouldn't want to get it stuck here. But that was the first test for the apis. So I'm not going a little bit further up where this whole area is opening up a little bit. And you could argue from a safety perspective it responded great because it just stopped and it hovered here. Now, let's do the same. You can probably see the path up here. It's a little bit wider. Let's see how it does here in this particular area. So, so far I'm happy because obviously I don't want to lose the drone. It's going up again. Still on cinema mode. Home point is updated. So if it loses satellite connection, I'm going deliberately down here now. So it's gone past this bit. It's gone up. Let's see, there's some twigs here. It's going up. Uh, I don't want that. So I have to go a bit down. Again, it's kind of stuck. You can see twigs here, twigs there, leaves there, twigs at the bottom. So I can't get through. It's telling me all the way around. You can probably see this on the screen or the screen recording. It won't move. So in a way, I suppose that's a good thing because really getting through here is quite challenging. So let's bring it back. Uh, I'll bring it back down, land it. And then carry it forward. So I'm taking my drone for a little walk now and I'm wondering if it'd be able to get through the next bit. That looks a bit wider so let's do this again and this is really a test of the APIS and the obstacle avoidance in quite challenging situation and I'm quite happy about this because obviously I don't want to break the thing going up. I wanted to go down because I know there is a path where it should be able to go through. Again, it's hanging. It's got twigs here. It's got this big stick here. It's got these here. If I go down a little bit and go back, can I get it through? No, so it isn't... Okay. okay. So that, that worked. Good. This beeping is a bit annoying, but I suppose you could turn the volume down if you wanted to. I'm bringing it down a little bit lower, just to hover along here. It's doing all of this. Obviously, I'm quite behind, so I'm somewhat setting the avoidance off. That's great. Managed its way through here. Over to there. No problem. So there's a few twigs pick these up. That's why I'm walking behind, because I want to have good visibility what it's doing. And now here, we're opening up now in a wider air, and I'm quite happy. Obviously, I've got to be mindful that I still got to return to home as hover, so I need to change this back. I mean, the view and the camera picture on this is amazing.